Die break. break. We're walking on the beach. Ish. beach almost, over there. almost at the beach. It's actually beautiful out. It's so Can't nice. Out. The sunset. So we've had quite the weekend. You guys are probably wondering why we're at the beach and not at home. We had to take a little weekend getaway staycation. We had to leave our apartment, and uh, we'll tell you guys why as we get into the video. As the old saying goes, when life hands you lemons, you make beef stew. You guys don't get that reference, Andy Milanakis. Anyways, this is a little weekend trip that's actually gonna be longer for me, because Christy's going to be leaving for Idaho, and I'm gonna chill at the hotel for a few extra days, but we wanted to show you guys our weekend getaway. A few moments later. What you doing over there? Setting up the microwave. This room didn't come with. Oh, this room didn't come with the microwave. Most don't. It's so what did we go out and do? We went and bought one. Because I'm high maintenance like that. Say hi. So, um, welcome to our hotel room. We have nothing more to add. We'll fill you in a little bit later on why we're here. A few moments later. We're trying Mediterranean and Mexican. Mediterranean, Mexican and Mediterranean And also, and also a, a drink, because we, we both need one. This is uh, our first stop in our little staycation. First course, first, first course. She's a true Moscow Mule aficionado. Ooh, smell that. What do you mean? Why would you have to smell that? Because it's like... Oh wait, I'm not, I'm not supposed to get mad at you. Oh, jeez. That's good. What is it? Ceviche. Ceviche. Hey, they're gonna get mad that you're correcting me all the time because it's just really rude. Ceviche. I'm gonna do this the real way it should be done. Seconds later. Like that. I like all the chips. Name is up in here. Christy's fingering the Moscow Mule. Yes, I am. Trying to make it. What did you say? Don't put that in there. Sorry. Putting it in the video. We get, we got we got chicken fajitas. They're gonna be delicious and nutritious. Later. See guys, it's not always rainbows and butterflies with the electrics, All right? Sometimes we gotta, gotta have some goals, you know? Gotta get swole. Yeah. Gotta just check out that spinach pico de gallo chicken salad. It's all right, it's not, a very, it's not very exciting at all. And then I remember no one cares about this part anyways. You're doing it again. Hey, but... on camera. Say W-O-W in there. W-O-W. Do a little fire. <laughs> How's your $4 hotel coffee? Is it just me or should hotel coffee be complimentary? Complimentary? Um, yeah, it should be. Every hotel that I say that, it's always complimentary. All right, so what are we doing? We're doing dinner because we're hungry. This is the fastest service ever. Yeah, right. Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it. What do you recommend? It's the first spots here are I never oh, thought. He, I would, oh, he was one of them. I never thought I would that. ever let say that sentence, but I love the Brussels spots. Okay. okay. The most unhealthy thing in the world. Perfect. <laughs> uh, the uh, cheese plate is good. Spotlighting myself. All right, you take take the. Got the... He does not know that this is like, what is this? What? I should ask for the bottle. Not everyone's a 
and catch up. Mm. You want to do the honors and cut that? It's not lettuce wrapped. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Whatever. Looks pretty good. Maybe kind of like butchered the. I know. Jeez. Uh, well, that's it. Holy it, crap, that's you over. literally just destroyed the sandwich. <laughs> you put it back together? This is a little vegetable. They know how to make really unhealthy. What, oh, Brussels sprouts? Yep. Ooh, the bacon's good. Of course the bacon's good. Crispiness. That tastes extremely unhealthy, <laughs> but also very delicious. I didn't get any cheese. That was amazing. Now you guys will just have to wait and see what we got at the store. We've got a lot of new goodies. Yes, we did. We decided that um, we're both gonna quit our jobs and we're just going to eat food for a living. Even though that's not, that is your job. Kind of already what I do. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Somewhat. Good. 12 seconds later. Okay, so we got back from Walmart and we saw some delicious items that we wanted to try. So this is Funfetti cereal right here. This is, just came out. Since I'm not really filming carb collections anymore on my main channel. We're just gonna do them here. We're gonna do them here. And I also saw these when we were checking out. These are blue. Blue heat. Blue heat Takis. <gasps> Babe, I knew that was gonna happen. Go pick it up. Don't get all upset. Well, we don't have a Tina to pick it up, so you Baby, go pick it up. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I'm gonna end up stepping on it. See, everybody thinks I'm the mean one. I know, it's totally me. Did you just toss them under the bed? No, the, our oh. trash can's right there. Gotcha. Eric Goodness. is known to take little pieces of the trap, trash and just like, he just, also, like, he just sweeps everything underneath the stove or the fridge. I see you. Chocolate payday bar. That'll be good. And we have some new flavors of Fat and Weird, I believe. Let's try this out. Hold it. What did I say? It would taste like vanilla cereal. It's good. If you like vanilla, it's very good. I don't know what I think about it. I think people are really good at marketing. For sure. Like, I think about the Funfetti cake that I've had. And this definitely tastes like the Funfetti cake. I always love the Funfetti batter because the the little chips, the little rainbow chips that are in it. Yeah. I always loved eating the batter. Um, acquainted with Funfetti because I used to eat whole cakes to myself. Funfetti cakes. I used to, I used to just buy the frosting for Funfetti just to eat it. I was stuck with a spoon. I know you guys don't probably believe me, but I. Well, I'm Christian does for 5,000 calorie challenge. I would not choose to just sit and sit and eat frosting for that. So this is the blue heat Takis. I guess it's I'm not gonna make her poop blue. Eat enough of them. What's it or no? I mean, they just taste like Takis. They don't taste blue. Some things taste their They don't color. taste the color. No. What is what does green taste like? Spicy. No, that's red. No, uh, uh Like salsa verde chips? I guess they're not green. The bag's green. You do scream to me. I guess you do have a point. Like when I think pink, I think pink starburst. When you think strawberry. When you think red, you think cherry. Mm -mm. When I think red, I think spicy. No, I think cherry. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't really see. Grape? Will be purple. Oh, that's true. Or well, I think yellow, I think banana. Or lemon. The point is, the Takis don't taste their color. All right, so now we're gonna try the chocolate. Chocolate payday. Bar. I loved paydays as a kid. Did, Did you, you like paydays payday or nut rolls better? I don't even know what a nut roll is. It's like it's like a payday, except it's not. Um, they're tiny bit different. 
Oh, the Paul Rowe boys are really liking that. Looks good. good. Looks very good. I love paydays. I know. That's better than the original payday bar. That's legit better than the original. So good, I took two bites. Wow. Is there caramel in it? Yeah. It's like some sort of caramel nougat. Recommend if you like paydays. That's legit better than the original payday bar. It's good. Sometimes it's weird to go back and visit like your favorite candy bars as a kid. Like I loved 100 grams. I still love those, those are actually pretty good. I love caramel. Anything with caramel in it, I really like. So we have two new Fat and Weird Cookies flavors. If you guys haven't yet, you guys gotta go check out Fat and Weird Cookies. You guys can save 10% with electric. Link is down below in the bio. Go and do it, they're worth it. They're worth it for sure. Oh, chalkies and payday. Oh. All right, let's see what we got. Butterscotch. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one. That's definitely, oh, Butterfinger. This is the Silver Fox. Mm -hmm. Take five Heath Bits, Butterscotch, Chips, and Butterfinger. At least I think that's what it is. Is that the um, June side look? That's good. Up next, I'm gonna say that this is probably the handful. But yeah, it's topped with a Kit Kat and a brown sugar cookie base stuffed with Snickers, Twix, and M&Ms. Anything over a handful is just a waste. Oh shoot. Nice. I know. Nice, way to go, babe. Holy crap, there's a lot of- You give me the one with the, the Kit Kat? Do you not want it? Ooh. The Kit Kat steal. Mm. There's a lot going on in that cookie. Yeah. There was a lot going on for sure. I taste a lot of chocolate. The thing about their cookies, they're just, the cookie base dough itself is just really, really good. Yeah. That's the best base I've had for their cookies. It's a brown sugar base. Oh. Yeah, that's why this one's super good. Mm. Out of everything we've tried tonight, I have to say the payday bar. <laughs> I don't agree. One. Followed up with the fat and weird cookies. I think I like the other flavor better, the Butterfinger one. Now, um, we're gonna go get some sleep. We're gonna watch the Big Bang Theory. And we'll see you guys later. So it's Christy's last night here, and my second to last night here before Christy goes to Idaho. And I then go I, to this place right here. And then I go to Idaho. So we're gonna get we're gonna try out Peruvian cuisine for the first time. Good bone. Good. I'll be the judge of that. It kind of tastes like a blue moon. Um. So we ended up getting the. Tartar. Oh, there it is right there. Tartar. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so looks good. this right here is the pollo. I really should look up their menu. I don't know, those are potatoes. So it's a, I'm gonna put a little description of what it is right there. And then we have the ahi tuna tartar. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. like a sweet soy sauce. Mm. Good. Looks like breadcrumbs or something. Like it? That was one of like the best sauces I've ever had in my life. That's good. For a minute, I thought it was gonna taste like curry. That's probably the best sauce I've ever had. 
without a doubt. Without a doubt. And the rice is super good. It's like seasoned very well. If you guys are ever in Del Mar, California. Just find the place with the colorful lights. Yeah. Because it's the only restaurant that it's looks really like cool this. It's a really cool Peruvian place. 12 o'clock midnight. Next time you guys see us, we'll be... Hopefully we'll be on vacation under better circumstances. Yeah, and let's re-explain the situation once more. The day that I was supposed to go back to Christy and I's apartment, I actually ended up getting a text from Christy and she let me know that somebody actually ran into the power outlet or whatever it's called, the power generator outside of our apartment and we lost power. Okay, well from the new information yeah, we found new out information today, today we, we, uh... I think what happened was that a guy got evicted from his apartment and had his girlfriend. It's making complete sense now. Had his girlfriend um, just smash into the building. Why do you think that? Insurance payout, maybe. I don't know if she went on her car. And honestly, people are just crappy people. So if they're getting evicted, might as well do as much damage as possible on the way out. It's a crazy world out there. It is crazy. It's so sad that people would damage other people's property. Oh, but it could have been an accident too. But I found that out today. Mm, that makes a lot more sense because seriously the distance from her car to the wall It's 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 not it's not, it's like, not like a s simple slip on the gas brake Yeah, type the way that you like, described it to me was that like her foot missed the gas pedal or her foot missed the brake pedal And she stepped on the gas. Yeah, yeah. but even if like the cars you, the cars parked here and the panel was over here so she would literally have to have, have like been parked that way in the in had the gas pedal go straight back there's no way and it's literally like 50 feet behind i her. wish they had cameras on the building it is what it is hope you guys enjoyed this video i didn't even really film anything we did during the day just what we ate we didn't really do much and the next time we see you guys will probably be in boise good morning i am at the airport um my flight i got here super early i forget that you know the airports are pretty much dead, so it doesn't take long to get through security. Um, my flight leaves in about an hour and a half. So, headed to Boise. Got my winter clothes on, uh, cause it's gonna be cold. Got my, my green tea. I guess I can put my mask down, I forget about this. Well, now we just wait. This is gonna be the quickest flight ever. Um, I think this flight's only like an hour and a half. Yeah, and then I'll be in Boise. Eric will meet me later. So you guys know, whenever I travel, I do road trips. I eat a lot of pistachios and I listen to a lot of podcasts. What are you guys' favorite podcasts out there to listen to? What did you say about diet break? What did you say about that? Is this, this is the so we wanted to welcome you guys to our new house. We'll explain more later. It's currently uh, one o'clock in the morning. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. That's the best one they've ever made. We're both on a, on a diet break. Um, so it's so late. We're so tired. We're just like, ugh. I love San Diego at 8 o'clock AM. So that's 14, like a little over 14 and a half hours. And we're in Boise. You say Boise? Boise? Boise. Boise. Mm -hmm. With an S. Um, Do you know what that means? Uh, Wales for driving. No. It's French for the city of trees. And in the morning when you see it in daylight, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, we're going to get some sleep and we will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so day one. So uh, the plan is we're going to go, well, I'm going to go to the gym. Then we're going to do some stuff afterwards. And then we're meeting up with some, some friends tonight. Some friends tonight. And uh, yeah. So I just did my first workout of the trip I did nine miles on the treadmill in one hour I walked two miles as soon as I got in the car Christy's first food suggestion to me was to get pizza so I'm already liking where her head is at diet break <laughs> <laughs> that's
that's like it's an on like it's an ongoing trip joke that we're having. It's not like we're eating like crap. It's just it's just fun. Well, we're just saying that about everything. Everyone's like, for you, one like life is just one big diet break for you, Eric. Little do they know that I don't eat garbage every day. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna uh, do a little bit more driving and then probably get some food. I already like this place. Do you read the sign? The, the signs are always really cool. This place is actually really cool. <laughs> I've decided that this video is going to be our diet break. I'm gonna call it our diet break. That's a good idea. In Idaho or something like that. Yeah. And no one's gonna understand why we're calling it our diet break because they see us eat not diet friendly I food know. all the time. But it is what it is. It is. So Christy got a gluten-free pizza. I got a sourdough pizza. It's the first time I'm ever gonna actually have. Well, a didn't sourdough. you know gluten-free means calorie-free? I didn't actually. I didn't know that. Yeah. Stupid me. But um. But yeah. Cheers to our uh, diet break. So I got a barbecue chicken. Pizza. Mine's so good. Mine's got pineapple and olives and how pizza should be. This is barbecue chicken with sourdough crust. I don't have words. It's so good. <laughs> that cheese full. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Try this. This is gluten free. Oh, I like yours. There's garlic on that. See, Christy won't let me eat garlic at home. It stinks so bad. It's how pizza belongs. Like, look how much cheese. Or I'm gonna try out this ranch right here. This is how you really tr you judge a pizza place right now by the ranch. Get it. It's just, I mean, it's average. The ranch is? Yeah. I don't know. How's the beer? The beer's fantastic. They do load this up with chicken, which is nice. They don't stamp on the toppings. I wonder if I started brewing my own beer. No? I thought like something you're gonna do in your back room. I could. You can make your own wine and kombucha. I'm definitely more of a beer person. I, I can't stand wine. That's not true. You like champagne. Champagne is not wine. I like champagne. Maybe I'm not a wine drinker then. It was one of the few times where Christie's, what Christie ordered, it is better than mine. Yeah, that's typically true. <laughs> you can have some of mine if you want. You don't like pineapple though. See, I can do pineapple on pizza now. It's just olives that I can't do. Well, maybe you should try it. Yeah, it's good. I definitely should have ordered this. So now we're going to, after this, go to the grocery store, and then we're going to hang out with some friends, and then we'll see you guys a little bit later. 12 o'clock midnight. chrissy has been obsessed with the Big Bang Theory lately. She ordered the entire collection. So far, Idaho has been very cold. We both ate our body weight in peanut M&Ms tonight, so I thought I'd get some salad in. Bring it over here. You're gonna be that weirdo that doesn't eat it with any cereal or any milk, though. Are you sure we've never had this before? I don't think I have. What would you give it on a one to ten scale? Probably a seven. It smells like fall. It smells. Oh wow. I don't I don't like doing milk pours. It gets messy. So what are we doing tomorrow? Haunted World at some point tomorrow. What is Haunted World? It's a scary place. Is it like a adult scary place or is it like a No, like little kids can go, like 10, 12, but I mean like it's intense. It's good, right? We got a little surprise for you guys in just a few seconds. All right, you guys, so the surprise of the evening. So we have the Biscoff salted caramel, and then we have the Belgian chocolate chip. Ooh. That's the inside right there. 
Should we do the honors? Sure. I, uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's so good. I've never had this kind before. Yeah. I had that for a challenge, and I as soon as I got into it, I knew you would you, you would love that. The biscoff, I love biscoff cookie. Ooh. Yeah, get it. Very good, and so good. I want to try the other flavor. Hashtag diet break. Oh, this is the Belgian chocolate chip one. Oh, just wait until you get this. <laughs> you're, I think you're, I, I think you'll like this one better. You didn't even like try the other one. What do you mean? Oh, I, I, this is the one that I've had before. So this is the, this is the salted, salted caramel one. It almost like the chocolate chip one, but oh, oh, I found the caramel. Hold on, hold that thought. That is good. I don't know, that chocolate chip one is pretty good too. There is definitely not fake sugar in this. No, this is the, the legit stuff. Is it just because it's kind of melty, melty that it's like super soft? Is it better when it's like more? Fresh? No, this is the way it, it. Oh, so it's fluffy. Yeah, it's fluffy. Mm. It's almost like a mousse. Yeah, that one. I like that one way better. That was a good surprise. <laughs> Hashtag diet break. Okay, so we just got back from the, I won't actually say the craziest haunted house or haunted trail experience, but it was pretty, it was pretty insane. Third hotel slash Airbnb. At least, uh, so babe, how's the diet break been? Oh, it looks great. Hold on, let me zoom in. No. So we've had a really, really good time on our uh, our time here in Idaho. So we're, what we're actually gonna do, I'm making the call here, or actually we might actually go to two places um, that Christy's been wanting to take me to for a while because they're, they're staples here in Idaho um, and they're gonna be delicious. And then tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. We're gonna, we're gonna visit some really uh, delicious places. Um, there's a place here called Guru Donuts that I've never been to before. It's very, very, very famous in Idaho. They they have, it's modeled after Voodoo Donuts. Like Idaho has like, look at how beautiful it is outside. It's gross outside, don't show them that. Well, I mean, it, we're in a hotel, but I mean, it's it's nice. Tomorrow, what I, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap the video here and well, not literally here, but we'll show you guys the rest of the food that we, we have um, today. And then you guys that are sticking around right now will know that next week's video, will be tomorrow, because we're gonna visit a ton of awesome food spots. We'll show you a little sneak peek right now. Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Now I got biscuits and gravy. Lemon and brioche. Best lighting in the world. So, Christy got- I got coffee. A coffee. It's cold. And I got something, I got something a little bit better. Wanna cheers? It's got pineapple in it. <laughs> that looks good. It does look good. That looks good. Your salad looks good. Grills fry sauce. It's got a little bit of a kick. Let's try it with the sweet potato fry sauce. Ooh, that's good. It's good. You're gonna like that. Surprisingly, like, 
like it's actually per, it's actually pretty good it's got like a tang to it mm -hmm. yes 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 yep Twelve seconds later. I did not eat it all by myself. So that is the coconut rum. You're doing the sauce. I am. I'm a little scared about how good I'm gonna like it. Uh, how good you're gonna like it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's good. Navigate with the sauce. That is very good. I actually like that a lot. And Christy, Christy's not gonna eat this entire slice. No, I am not gonna eat this. She no joke, she goes, oh we should get that and just try it. Seconds later. Ooh. Oh, oh, sorry, you guys. You know, you don't need to oh see my that. gosh, that smells amazing. Culver's? There's a fucking Culver's here? What's a Culver's? 12 o'clock midnight. Take a gander at that, everybody. Like, wow. Those are some cookies right there. So Reese's, OG, and then this right here is the Butterfinger. This salad. So how heavy this is. That's actually for a salad, that's pretty For cool. a salad. That's that's for for sure. Um, so this is the infamous sweet pork salad. Christy's been rant she's been ranting and raving about Cafe Rio for a long time. So we have our salad and then what does a quesadilla look like? Looks like a quesadilla. We got a quesadilla because it's actually funny because the quesadillas are the most popular thing technically according to Google. At Cafe Rio, so I had to make sure we got a quesadilla. You're more stoked about the the dressing is so good. Like here, oh my gosh, it's greasy. That is a greasy quesadilla. Oh, uh, babe, why do hotels have white bed spreads? That is a uh, that. Oh, look at that. That is a good. That's the money shot right there. Okay, is that a substantial bite? No, that's horrible. It's mostly lettuce. <laughs> it's like you don't know how to eat a salad. Oh, I definitely know how to eat. Okay, it. There, you there, there you go. There you go. Ish. Good. Would you give it a W.O.W. -W moment? <gasps> That's sensational. Wow. Mm. There's a lot going on in there. There's like eight layers. There's beans at the bottom, meat. No, there's the tortilla at the bottom. Yeah. Then there's rice, then there's yeah. beans. Have you tried the tortilla yet? Oh, you got some in, in there? We like were raised on Cafe Rio. We love the tortillas are so good. That is a thick salad. I haven't had Cafe Rio in years. There we go. It's good. Now this is the chicken, chicken quesadilla. I've never had anything else at Cafe Rio except for this. Ooh. That's good too. Their tortillas are what? That those are the unique. The tortillas are so good. It's super flavorful. Like that's that's the inside look. I haven't had a quesadilla seriously in like forever. This is so good. I would have gone here instead of a uh, Kona grill. See like the beans, the black beans, they kind of, they mesh with the barbacoa. So like, it's kind it's of like, to be, it's I like know, a, but like. You can you can get these as a burrito. Mm. So it's like less lettuce and more. Like the barbacoa though is, is like, that's amazing. It's, it's funny cause like tomorrow we're gonna be eating a lot of food. It's our last day here. So we're gonna go out with a bang. Um, we got our cookies. So this is the scandalous. Okay, let's scandalous. see how it compares. Okay. Okay, so what cookie do you want to start with first? I'm gonna do the OG first. Do you want me to put them in the microwave? 12 seconds later. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try the Reese's one first. And I'm gonna try the Butterfinger? Yeah, just get in a little bit, like. Okay, okay, ready, set. Wow. Mmm. Wow. 
The Butterfinger was good. Now I gotta, I gotta try this. I don't know. I think like the Reese's better. Thick. Yeah, this is the, this is definitely like that is a that's a thick cookie. It's not as thick as fat and weird, but it's good. But I don't get a huge Butterfinger. You probably should have vanilla ice cream in between. Cleanse the palate. Good, 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 good suggestion. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is the. Smooth. Mm. Ice creamy. Nice. It's like a brownie. Diet Diet break. Break. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strategic way to boost your metabolism and increase fat burning by 480,000%. The part that they don't want to hear is that, like if somebody asked me that, I'd be like, well, I'm um, also waking up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to go work out. So. Yeah, exactly. So this one, I've got a feeling we are going to love. There's like no chocolate chips on the inside. Oh, never mind. I think I like the Butterfinger the best. Really? Here's the here's the bottom line with these cookies. Like they definitely taste like cookies, but they there's there's not enough. Like this one, for example, the chocolate chips should be the main thing you taste, and the Butterfinger the Butterfinger should be the main thing you taste, and the Reese's the Reese's should be or the peanut butter should but be you what you taste. Need to let me let me finish. Oh, sorry. But they're cookies and they taste too much like the the butter and they taste too much like the batter. Yeah, they're very. If you like soft cookies, yeah, these are definitely these are it. But I think we're also used to fat and weird words like very bold flavors. Yeah, but like just tasting it right now, it's just it's dough. It's a lot of dough. Like just meaning the, there's more more cookie than toppings. They're good. I mean, but definitely fat and weird still has my heart. I would say the Reese's is definitely by far my favorite. Mm. The Butterfinger. Butterfinger's Christie's favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video with the electrics, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. And um, let us know what you guys want to see next for future electrics videos. And um, we'll bring it to your eyes. Stay tuned for next week's video because it's going to be awesome. And without further ado, the electrics.